Yo, I'm, I'm jacking it. Hold on. You know I got, you know I got my brush on standby. I couldn't wait to start brushing my shit. All oh, Ju is back. Oh my God, is that case B? AC, what's the word, shorty? No, you didn't, Julius. Man, fuck that hair. I don't give a fuck about that shit, man. I couldn't do nothing with that hair, bro. Wave Ju coming back. You see it, bro. Wave Ju is already word. Braids was it. It was it, but I ain't gonna lie. The braids was cool and all, but there was times where I would want a haircut and I couldn't get a haircut because now i gotta find somebody to braid my head and then i got it like bro it's too much work i just like doing shit like nigga just aged backwards the patches is crazy you talking about the the patches in my head nigga i just cut my hair like a day ago what the fuck nigga bro y'all y'all should already know how my waves get though once once i start ball spot ah you see i'm putting my do-rag on i'm putting my do-rag on you see y'all niggas want to be comedians and kevin we got a whole bunch of kevin hearts and drewskis in here nigga talk about some fucking ball spot stop it nigga nigga talk about a ball spot don't 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 do that can i see the side profile my shit gucci side profile how it's looking good cuts chat so listen so listen 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 so i went to a new barber right i ain't never go to this barber a day in my life somebody had recommended me to this nigga you got mad rags nah yeah i do got od yeah so listen so me and my old barber we had got into it over some like some stupid shit i don't even know if if, if niggas consider this shit getting into it for real for real i don't feel like we got into it i just feel like the situation was weird right so now let me put y'all niggas on y'all let me know what y'all think about it right it was one morning it was like nine o'clock in the morning ten o'clock in the morning i'm getting ready for bed y'all know my sleep schedule fried right so I'm like, I bet. I know I'm gonna go to sleep soon, but usually when I go to sleep around like 10 o'clock, I'm gonna wake up around like four or five. That was when I was going to bed at 10 in the morning or some shit, but I was up all night. I went on the app and I booked an appointment for like, it was seven, seven o'clock at night to get a haircut. Like it made sense. Mind you, my haircut was the next day. So I booked the appointment. He texts me like, yo, I'm not gonna be in the shop at seven, at, at, at seven o'clock. 10 in the morning. Is, nah, yeah, 10 in the morning is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it's crazy. But let me explain myself. I'm like, I right, bet since, since, since I was just up all night, I might as well just book the last haircut appointment it it just makes sense you know what i'm saying just so i know that i don't miss it he texts me like yo i'm not gonna be in the shop around this time can you come at two? Oh, you have to come at two in my head i'm thinking i'm like two o'clock nigga i'm not making that i'm going to sleep what the fuck i've been up all night it's 10 o'clock in the morning i'm going to bed i'm like yo bro i'm gonna keep it a stack i don't know I can, i'm not making it to the two o'clock appointment i straight up told him i said i'm not making it to the two o'clock appointment i was just up all night it's 10 o'clock in the morning i'm trying to go to sleep i'm not waking up for that clip he was like well I, i'm leaving early i'm like all right I, that's all i said i said all right not i right, i'm pulling up i said i right, that's it just i right. two o'clock come he texts me like yo i'm sleep though i wake up right i wake up at like 6 30 7 o'clock like i told you i was gonna wake up he hit me up at two i didn't i didn't answer or i, I was asleep i woke up at like seven and booked my i said my flight i booked my appointment for the for the next day right mind you my flight got delayed that was the only reason why I, why I was still there after that this is the next the following day i book in another appointment he gonna text me right he gonna send me a text message like yo this is that's exactly how i was looking while i was reading the text i'm like so he was like yo it's a 50 dollar no show fee because you you didn't make your appointment yesterday what it's a 50 dollar 50 dollar no mind you my cut is 50 dollars right my cut is already 50 just, just i just want to make sure that we on the same page so i know that i wasn't bugging right my cut is 50 dollars. so whatever you pay for your cut i guess that's how much it is for the no-show fee because you you missed your cut i ain't missed it i ain't missed it in the first place so he like yeah it's gonna be 50 dollars on top of the no-show fee which is an additional 50 dollars. so in my head i'm like oh nah he's bugging that's what i am in my head i'm like he's bugging i'm like i'm not paying that it don't even make no sense, bro. I booked for the seven o'clock appointment. What, what makes you think I'm, I'm about to pay an additional $50 when I originally booked for seven o'clock? It just didn't make sense. So I told him, I'm like, I'm not paying that. I'm not paying an additional $50 for an appointment that I originally booked for seven o'clock. I was like, I'm not doing that. And then he was like, how you going to tell me that you're not paying for an appointment that you missed? I'm not paying for it. What are you talking about? <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, you're not making no sense. I was like, listen, maybe it was a miscommunication. This is what I said, because I don't like I was trying to look at it from multiple perspectives to make it kind of make sense. I'm like, I bet he thought that I was going to pull up at two o'clock because I said I, right. but I didn't say I bet I'm coming. I never said that. I said I. Right. 
like i right, i'm tight right now like i'm tight i'm about to go back to florida i needed to get a haircut all right boom then he gonna hit me with like the say no more after he hit me with that i'm like i'm not even gonna go back to like the say no more is what fake threw me off a little bit because like i ain't know what type of time he was on you feel me like i ain't know the say no more was just like like you feel like you know what i'm saying chat like I, I am i wilding you know what i'm saying he was like say no more like he felt the way of something that i wasn't paying at 50 dollars or something but like what what fate got me tight is that i'm not a regular customer if you understand what i'm saying like bro i've been getting the the nigga in the in the chair right next to him is the same person who cut my braids my first braids nigga you understand what i'm saying i'm not just some regular customer that you could just try and get like i felt kind of disrespected in a way you feel me it's both parties fault he should have that's exactly what i said though i said that i could definitely take blame for it because the communication could have been better you feel me the communication could have been a bit way better on my part and on his too so yeah so i went to go and find a new barber yo chat yo listen here yo I went to this nigga's barber shop. I'm gonna tell you what happened. So I go into the barber shop, right? I go into the barber shop. I sit down. I'm looking for dude who I saw on the on a little app because I had to download some app called like The Cut or some shit like that, right? I download the app, book my appointment. I get there. I'm sitting down. I'm like, yo, where the fuck is this nigga at? Am I at the right spot? Cause mind you, I didn't see no sign. There was no sign. The rolls or waves. Okay, new. I see what's going on, new. You dick sucking. This nigga right here is dick sucking. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, you got you got jokes. So I'm sitting in the chair, right? I'm sitting, I'm sitting down. I'm looking around, looking for the barber and shit like that. I don't see him. I go back on Instagram real quick because I I I'm going back on his Instagram to look at his face to see like, cause there was like four or five other barbers in there. They ain't find him. Dude, 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 going uh, he gonna say yo, you got an appointment? I was like, yeah. Like, who you got an appointment with? It's like so and so. Well, me told him his name. He like, oh yeah, if you check the app, he, he um usually when you get here, he drops a code or some shit like that. I listen, the nigga got a whole nother door. Mind you, listen. Imagine where I'm sitting at. This is the chair. This is the chair where niggas be waiting. Listen, fuck all that. He said, yo, he usually drops a code. I'm over here looking at my phone for the code. He didn't send no code to me. He was like, all right, the nigga open the door up to the back room of the barbershop right nah 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 zay this is where it get crazy though this is where it get crazy he opened the door to the back of the barbershop yo chat i kid you not word to everything i love i never seen no shit like this in new york bro the barbershop had a movie room in it not only did it have a movie room the shit had a podcast station in it not only did it have a podcast station in it the nigga had another room with like eight tvs on the fucking wall i swear to god bro there was one tv here one tv here one tv here i'm over here looking around like what the fuck like what the fuck bro this shit was crazy i'm like yo nah this is crazy in here he got a bar in the back there's a bar there was a movie room there was another room. I'm like, yo, what we talking about, bro? I'm talking about this barbershop that I had went to. The barbershop who cut my hair. Like the vibe was way different when I got in there, bro. So now listen, so I'm chopping it up with bro Manju. He don't even cut out there with the four or five of them. He don't cut out there. He got a secret entrance to get to the back of the barbershop where he got his own little room where he cut hair at. Manju, the room that he was cutting my hair at, the nigga had five monitors. Yo, I swear to God, his setup looked better than mine. Yo, words to everything I love, his setup looked better than mine. His wire management better. Everything was just better. I would have thought he was a streamer. Five star shop. I don't know. Listen, y'all jacking the cut? Are y'all jacking the cut though? Check. Cut Gucci? The ways is not here yet, bro. I'm about to throw the do rag on because I ain't rag up today. I just got out the shower. I'm gonna throw the dewey on, situate my shits. I gotta lay him down. I gotta get another um, what is it? I gotta get a ziplock bag. Come on. If you know, you know about the ziplock method. That method right there. <laughs> so I'm chopping it up with bro. We just having regular conversations, and he's telling me like like how he came up with the whole barbershop. And he's showing me this shit from scratch. He was like, yo, bro, nobody believed in me. Like he's showing me on his phone his first instagram picture he said yo nobody believed in me i went to this school down there and i just want to give back and show the community that 
there is things like this in queens like everything that like i'm just listening to everything that he's telling me chat and the shit that he's doing with this barbershop shit nobody is doing it like listen i'm gonna tell you something you tell me if this is a good or bad investment if i was to pay a hundred dollars right it's a membership a hundred dollar membership you get two haircuts two shape ups and i could bring two other people with me to the bar not saying that they get a cut but like the vibe the aesthetic all of that shit they could just go in there and watch a movie while i get a haircut and you get food i forgot to add that you get food they give you food after the barbershop if you want to chill out you feel me it's your day off you want to go in there and watch a movie Are you telling me i could do so nigga say yo he said yo you paid at 100 he said what's here is yours he said you want to you want to go back there and record some shit for the podcast go ahead i'm like yeah, I think I'm gassing this shit up. On oh, God, I'm not. I promise you, he not. He located in Queens. All my Queens niggas tapping, no cap. Yo, listen. He said, yo, bro, when you got the $100 pass, you don't even got to go through that entrance. You could go through this one. You don't got to see nobody. We can get you in the system, your fingerprint situated. Beep. He said, as soon as you walk in, look to the left. There's a ball. Oh, nigga, you lost me. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> Yo, he told me that. I'm like, yo, you might have got me, bro. I'm like, this is not a barbershop, nigga. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yo, yo, next time I go there, I'm gonna take a picture. Matter of fact, nah, next time I go there, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a video. Like, I'm gonna really record it for real. Like a whole record. I'm gonna vlog it the next time I go there. I'm gonna vlog the haircut. I'm gonna vlog the whole vibe. Shh, nigga, I might sit down and watch a movie. <laughs> I might sit down and watch a movie, bro barbershop stream we just might have to do that and he got wi-fi in there he got all of that sturdy